What's up everybody? In this video, I will show you some helpful diagnostic tools that are built into Chromebooks. Let's get started. Move your arrow to the lower right corner of your screen and click on the bar that pops up. Click on the settings icon. Click on about Chrome OS, then click on diagnostics. The first section is related to the battery. On the right, it tells you the size of your battery. Next, it gives you your charge status. If you have your charger connected, it will show you how many minutes until your battery is full. When your charger is not connected, it will give you an estimate of how much time you have left before you need to charge your battery. You also get the battery health, the cycle count, and the current. Since I have the charger connected, this is the rate at which it's charging the battery. If your charger is not connected, it gives you the discharge rate. The cycle count is the number of times your battery has gone through a full charging cycle. I use my Chromebook every single day, so I'm not surprised with my number. The cycle count is also a good way to tell how much a Chromebook has been used. Ask the cycle count when buying a used Chromebook on eBay and check it yourself if you are buying it in person. You can also run a battery discharge test in case the battery is discharging at a faster rate than normal. Obviously, you want to have your Chromebook disconnected from the charger when you're running the battery discharge test. The number that I'm getting is 0.00% in 30 seconds. The next section is related to the CPU. This is your computer's processor name. This is good information in case you want to know how fast the processor on your Chromebook is. You can search Google for the Octane score and this will give you an idea of how fast it is relative to other processors. I have a blog page where I listed some Chromebook processors for you to compare. You can find the link to the page in the video description. So you have this graph that represents the usage of the processor in real time. It also gives you the CPU temperature here. The temperature will rise with more tasks. Once it goes above 70 degrees Celsius, you will notice a slowdown when using your Chromebook. You can run a stress test on the processor and observe your temps while the test is running. Here I am running a stress test on the CPU. You can see that my CPU usage has spiked up to 99%. My CPU temps are relatively low because I did a little modification to my Chromebook CPU. If it passed the test, you will get that message here. At the bottom, you have memory information. This is the RAM memory, not the storage capacity. So you can see the total RAM here. Chromebooks come in variants of two gigabytes, four gigabytes, and eight gigabytes of RAM. My Chromebook is equipped with four gigabytes of RAM, and I have eight tabs open right now, so I'm using a lot of RAM. The more tabs you have open, the more RAM you're gonna use. You can run a memory test, but I'm not sure what to look for here. And lastly, in the upper left, you can view some information related to your Wi-Fi connection as well as your keyboard. So there you have it, a lot of useful information in this diagnostics menu. Well, that's a wrap. If this video was helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with other people. Leave your thoughts in the comments section, and I will see you in the next video.